welcome to the Light and Dove Knits podcast. My name is Whitney. Thank you so much for dropping by. It's been a long time since I've recorded something, um, probably in the beginning of February. Um, I know it's been such a long time and I'm probably going to say ums a lot because it's, it's been it's been a while. Um, see, I'm saying um <laughs> already. Um, like I said, it's been a while since since February and by the time I post this it's already about it's gonna be like a month I, I think a month or so to last post it so I'm still here <laughs> it's just, I've just been really busy I have two kids so it's really hard to record and then some weekends we have to do, run some errands because that's the only time we have to do stuff but luckily there's a vaccine coming out so hopefully by the end of the year we'll be able to um, be with our families um, I'm really excited for that. I know my parents that received the vaccine, my husband has received his first shot already. I'm waiting for mine. I'm a stay at home mom. So I heard that everything will be distributed to everyone by May, hopefully. So I really want to get my shot. I just hope everyone's safe out there and you're healthy and you're just doing your best. So I'm sorry about, about, be, about being absent <laughs> for a while. I know I, I've been trying to keep, my, keep, up, keep up my Instagram even though that's kind of hard for me to do too. I can't post every day. Sometimes it's just so hard with little children running around my feet. So it's just been really hard sometimes for me to post things. Um, I'm gonna try to be a little bit better at that and also post a little bit more. Maybe I'm not gonna stick to a schedule because obviously my schedule is a little bit hectic. It does take a lot of time to record these podcasts. I come to find out, come to found out, find out. So props for those people who do these once a week because that's a lot of work. I know there's so many podcasts out there. I mean, there's like a, a lot of podcasts out there about knitting and crocheting and I'm just only a little blip on the grid of YouTube. So thank you so much for the people who are watching this. I know I have I, I have a, a little bit of a following, probably mostly my family and my friends, but I'm really glad that they are following. I hope they watch this video um, or if it interests them. But it means so much to me to for you to like this video and subscribe to this video because that means that way I can if I get more subscriptions like my name will be more out there so that people can um, check out my videos even though this is like the fourth episode I believe <laughs> see I don't even know because it's been a long time but so please like and subscribe it really helps out a lot but yeah um, thank you so much for com coming by hopefully this entertains you somehow. Um, I love delving myself into the knitting community. I'm following a lot of Instagram people and I, who I love. I love all the yarns, all their project bags, their, their progress keepers, stitch markers. There's a bunch of stuff that's out there that I like and I love following and supporting people of, um, who have the same interests as me as such as knitting and crochet. So I really appreciate you watching this video. Also a little thing about me too is I'm also a very introverted person. So for me to do this and putting myself out there on the YouTubes <laughs> um, is just very um, a weird thing for me <laughs> to do because I'm very shy. I mean, I, I can, I'm one of those where I can go out, have fun, but I need to recharge <laughs> and stay home for a while and recharge and be, my, be, my, be by myself for a little bit and knit. Discovering this little part of YouTube where there's a bunch of knitting youtubers out there it just made me if they can do it i can do it too and i know there's a couple podcasters out there who are also introverts i really look look up to them I look i look to I look up to all of you and you're doing a very good job out there um you're very nice people and i hope to meet you all i'll put my all my info if you want to follow me on instagram um, I am at Light Dove Knits. I'll put everything on the bottom. But Light Dove Knits is my my IG handle and my Facebook name. So if you look up Light Dove, Light Dove Knits, Light and Dove Knits, that's me. Um, maybe I'll put my email address in case you have any questions for me. I can always do like a get to know me, any questions that you might want answered. You can just email me. I do not have a Ravelry page because I know there's an, uh, there's an access accessibility problem right now so not a lot of people can access it right now and so I don't want to post things or because I have all my stuff that's on my description box in case you want the pattern but I'm going to try to put them trying to link it to like a blog or Etsy page because most of the stuff I've seen is on the Etsy page. I fortunately can go on Ravelry. I look up stuff still but I try not to purchase anything from them just because I feel like they haven't resolved any of their issues about Ravelry yet. So, and so I always try to link my pages to 
other sources rather than Ravelry. So I don't really don't want to do a Ravelry page right now, maybe in the future, but maybe I'll just do a website or something like that so I can put all my notes there. Maybe, I'm not sure. But so far I just want to start small because obviously I don't have that much time. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to get to know you as well. So please follow me, follow me on Facebook, I um, Instagram, email me if you like. I'll put everything in the description in the description box so you can get all that info. So let's get started. Well, actually, let's get started about drinking my coffee first because that's really important. This is my Hufflepuff mug because I am a Hufflepuff. But I love Harry Potter. Um, I love the books. But yeah, my household for sure. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure about my children yet. Um, but but my husband and I are Hufflepuffs. So we're a Hufflepuff house. I have a lot of ex actually I have very few um, whips in finished objects for you guys, but I do have a lot of acquisitions, acquisitions, acquisitions for you. I bought a lot of yarn. My birthday was just last week of February. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> that was a while ago, but I did buy a lot of yarn. So I'll, I'll delve, delve into that later on. This video is probably going to be a long video because since I haven't, uh, vi haven't, I haven't videoed in a long time. I haven't recorded in a long time. So hopefully it's going to be less than an hour. Um, my goal for I really want to do a like 30 minute video so because I don't want to take too much of your time yeah but also my videos are probably once a month I don't know I'm gonna record whenever I want to <laughs> and just hopefully you guys stick around <laughs> back to knitting so I want to talk to you about my knits from the past I don't know how long this segment's gonna be because I don't have a lot of knits from my past especially since a lot of stuff that I knitted or crocheted I gave them as gifts and I never kept track of what I made from the past. So the stuff I have now, I have two to show you. For the first project I want to show you, they're my husband's socks. I think I started these socks, <laughs> I want to say back in 2012. He was my boyfriend <laughs> then. And we, so that was 2012. We didn't get married until 2015. And I think I gave him these socks in 2017. So talk about UFOs and whips. <laughs> UFOs means unfinished objects and, and whips is a work in progress. So it was a work in progress and then it's a UFO. <laughs> I finished them though. <laughs> and he loves them. They're a little bit fuzzy right now because he's been wearing them a lot, especially since it's been cold, cold, cold <laughs> here in the state of California. He's been wearing the socks. Until they have been worn, the things are already coming out, and they've been they've been fuzzy. <laughs> they are clean though. <laughs> I made sure they're washed before I show them to you. Pattern is just it's a free pattern. So the pattern is called Croy Socks Knit Pattern by Mary Maxim. So they're very easy to do. I did I think I did 64 64 stitches, um, two by two ribbing. I did the the gusset. Heel, the flapping gusset, I think that's what it's called, the heel. No, I, I just, this is the first heel I've learned, so I don't, so, um, I believe it's called the gusset heel. Now that I am, I'm doing podcasts and, or watching a lot of podcasts, I learned that there's more heels than the gusset. I want to try the fish lips heel. I do want to try the afterthought heel. I did say it before in the, um, in my past video, I believe the last one, that I don't want to do the true after, afterthought heel just because the idea of, going back and putting the needles through the needles and snipping the yarn <laughs> and putting the heel in kind of frightens me and I wanted to do like the I want to say the fake afterthought heel but the one where you put the waist yarn in there so it's easy for you to do it later but I kind of want to dive deep I think I did put it in my Instagram my, my goals I do have eight goals which I'm going to add two more because I have some things to show you something big um that I might delve into in another craft a couple crafts maybe so stay tuned for later. But yeah, I learned that there's a bunch of um, heels. So this is the first one I learned. It was a gusset heel. So the socks I used, well, socks, the yarn I used is the Patton's Croy Socks FX. I think I just bought these at Michael's. Um, they are, it's the, the colorway is uh, Cadet Colors. And each of them is 50 grams. So I bought two enough to make a pair of socks. So the needles I used are size US 3. And that's so that's 3.25 millimeters. I don't know what I think I since I had these for a long time. I used those the double pointed needles at the time, 
for the ones that you buy at Michael's. I think they're the Susan Bates ones, I think. So I use those. I do, I, I mentioned this before, but I don't like to use double pointed needles anymore. I, I tend, I'm, I love the magic loop method. I have used a uh, nine inch circular Chiago needles. The Chiago needles are my favorite. I haven't used Addie's or the other brand, which I always forget what they're called, but, but I love the Chiago's. I love the, they're very smooth. I love the wire, um, or the connector, the cable, because they don't leave any dents. So the nine inch circulars, are, it was really, for, it was really hard for me in the beginning, but once you get going, it's really good. I don't know if they're really good for pattern make or pattern making yet. So I want to try that, which I, I believe you can. Some people have used them for different patterns, but so far I've only used them for vanilla socks. But for these, I don't, yeah, I don't like DPNs because I feel like they're like, more tools to to do just just one sock because they're like five use four or five of them and it just seems too fiddly for me but yeah the yarn it's actually really soft i mean it, i mean they are from michael's they're not from like a uh from a small business and they've gotten kind of fuzzy i think i don't know it's just because like he's been wearing my husband's been wearing them a lot but it is made out of 75 percent washable wool and 25 percent nylon so yeah for a standard stock. I do like that yarn, but I also like to other yarns for um, for small businesses because they have so many beautiful colors. And then there's yarn I could like to show you later on too. So stay for that. So yeah, that's it. Um, I do want to make more socks for him and for myself. I feel like I've never made socks for myself. I made it for my dad, which I, that's another one I can, I have to get a picture of so I can show you in a later video. But made socks for my dad and for my mom. I gave my mom the my very first pair of socks I made. They were kind of big, but I do want to give her give her a pair. They're, that is nicer, more her, because I feel like she's like a lace type of person. So I'm looking for a design for her. Um, and for my husband. I haven't made socks for myself. I made socks for my babies. <laughs> and But by this time, this year, it's going to be some selfish knitting. <laughs> well, and some others, but at least a pair for myself. So moving on. So my oldest, she loves dinosaurs. I mean, she loves them. Um, and my past video, I'll, I'll show you, I'll give you a link to a past video of the Triceratops that I made, like an army of Triceratops. They're really, really cute. Um, my little one starts is starting to like them, mostly just because she likes to chew on things. Anything she grabs, she puts in her mouth, so I have to be careful with those. Well, they don't really have any loose, loose ends or anything, but she just likes chewing on them, like she chews on everything. But anyways, so my, my daughter loves dinosaurs, so I decided to make a dinosaur for her, and I found a really neat pattern, a crochet pattern. So yeah, this is, it, the pattern is called the Red Heart Squishosaurus Crochet Dino. It is by, I looked it up on Yarn Inspirations, but it's by uh, Sarah Zimmerman. Also, I think she has a blog called uh, Repeat Crafter Me, which is pretty cool. Repeat Crafter Me. So yeah, it's really cute. I mean, this is also kind of a prototype. <laughs> I also um, messed up a little. This is actually supposed, I didn't pay attention, and this is actually supposed to be on the bottom, but it's not bad for my first dinosaur doll, I guess. But, but yeah, she loves it. She sleeps with it every night. I mean, she has a bunch of dolls in her bed anyways, but it does. it is like the number one doll that she sleeps next to. So yeah, that's that one. But I used uh, this, like, I had someone gifted the, the this yarn for me so and it was like the, it's the Karen one pound yarn so I have so much of it and luckily I was able to use that yarn to use it this is uh, the Karen one pound this in the color lilac and this for the spikes I use the the deep violet sometimes it does call for um, for safety eyes but since they're so little I um, I just I just sewed in her the eyes yeah she loves it so much I just use a size H hook 5.0 millimeter yeah those are my knits from the past or my crochet <laughs> I'll show you this side this is its best side um but yeah those are my knits and my knits from the past okay, moving on to my finished objects so I only have one out of the three projects that I finished because two of them have already been delivered to um their homes, their forever homes, but I can still show you a picture. If you don't know, which I think 
everyone knows this because it's been ingrained in our heads since the days we were born. <laughs> it's uh, Minnie Mouse. So um, some people com uh, commissioned me to do some projects. Of course, I have to make sure that the pattern is okay with me styling some items. And people who, um, it's mostly family and friends anyways, but they do commission me to do some stuff. Family member asked me if I can make a Minnie Mouse for her, I believe it's her granddaughter. She loves Minnie Mouse, the girl after my own heart because I do love Minnie Mouse, she's my favorite. I do have like Minnie Mouse pajamas and a Minnie Mouse kitchen mat and um, well my husband has like the Mickey Mouse oven mitts <laughs> and I used to have the Minnie Mouse kitchen gloves but I had to throw those away. Anyways, not the point. I made, so I made this Minnie Mouse, right? For this little girl um it's uh, i only i looked up this pattern on etsy i think i just looked up on google and then that showed up and it's the mini amigurumi pattern by zombie gurumi on etsy and i just used red heart super saver yarn in black uh pretty in pink um and i don't remember what i used for her face i want to say buff but i feel like that's wrong it was a beige color but but I remember running out of it, so that's why I don't have the labels for it for anything. But I'm sure you can get something from Michaels or or Joanne's that it looks like that color. Probably Heather. Heather is probably good. It's like the loops and thread impeccable yarn in Heather. The pattern was easy to follow. It wasn't too hard. It's just a lot of sewing, and I'm doing the little. Um, I used the, for her little polka dots. I used uh, white felt, so that was that was fun to to glue them on the skirt. But yeah, it was it was easy. I, I it did call for a 2.0 millimeter, which I think is a size B, but I feel like I, I always change my hooks. I always move them up a size a little bit. They did come out huge, but I want to say I used either an H hook or a G hook. And I wish I've written those down. <laughs> I wish I written those down, but sometimes I don't keep track of my of my things a lot. Um, this year I'm gonna try my best to do all my details and make a little knitting. Actually, I do want to make a knitting journal, make it all pretty for every year keep on my stats just in case like stuff like this so if I don't remember I can always use that for reference but but I did not write down that information what size hook I, I used it is a paid pattern I, I looked it up on Etsy like I said but I liked it it was a good it was it came out really cute once everything I love when I see like it's weird to say but just like all the body parts around because they're you're, you're sewing like like little dolls and pieces but once everything goes together it's like, oh wow, it does look like Minnie Mouse. And so, Cause sometimes when I, I make stuff, it, it it was like, I hope it looks like the actual character. I hope I don't mess up her face or I hope I don't mess up this person or this doll's um, leg or something. But actually when it, everything turns out okay, I'm like, oh, okay. So okay. the customer received her doll and, the, and she's two. She loves it. It makes my heart happy that she loves that Minnie Mouse doll. And another project that I, I, I worked on, heard of the popular video game called Animal Crossing. I've heard of it. I never played it. I don't have the Switch, unfortunately. If you don't want it, you can give it to me if you have the Switch. You can always give them to me because I like it. <laughs> but, but I never played it and I don't know the characters. I mean, I've seen pictures and stuff like that, but I don't know any names and stuff. But someone asked me if I can make them and Isabel. So I had to look. <laughs> so she gave me a picture. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And since it was, it was interesting structure. I mean, because it's a video game. It's not like in um, Isabella, it looks, it's a, she's a dog. Um, but of course video games is sometimes he, he adds like little elements where to make them look like a video game character and it was just interesting to see how crocheting it up how everything was going to go together because sometimes in video game characters they have different shapes and, and different parts of their heads and everything. So that was pretty cool to make. It was pretty interesting. I was really nervous like what if again I was nervous if it didn't look like it but it actually turned out really well. <laughs> um, Again, I just used the Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I used, um, it's medium weight. I used cherry red, um, bright and pale yellow, um, minty for her uh, her vest. And for her skirt, I used the Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling yarn. Um, since I had, it's in royal blue. I had, luckily I had everything in my cupboard already, so I was able just to take out what I had. Um, and the hook, I believe, again, I don't remember, but it called for a 2.5 millimeter, which is a C. I feel like I meant a little bit larger. Um, so I think it's supposed to be like this big of a doll, but I made it a little bit larger. So I'm guessing I used an H hook or a G. My favorite 
hooked to use as a G for dolls. But after everything was finished, I was like, oh my gosh, this character is so cute. Even though I don't play, I don't play the game or even have the console to or the game console to play it with. Um, I was like, I make one for myself. It's so cute. Yeah. So that's my second uh, finished object. So my third finished object, I had some requests from people, three people in fact, who really wanted those Bernie Sanders dolls. Um, it was funny because as soon as like uh, that, he Bernie Sanders became a meme. A lot, a lot of people, my friends uh, who know I knit and crochet, they bunch of them showed me pictures. Oh, have you seen this? Have you seen this? And I was like, yes, I've seen it. It was just really funny to me, <laughs> just because like like at least I, I appreciate that people like know I knit. They know they know I crochet, so it was really. Nice of them to show, like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this Bernie Sanders doll and those gloves. <laughs> but, um, so I had a couple of requests for, um, to crochet a Bernie doll. So the one that I looked up, the one that was really popular was the Bernie Mittens Crochet Doll by Toby Time Crochet. Um, so like I said, three people requested, so I have tr uh, a triplet set. Of Bernie's and it was it's a paid for pattern so I can't really go into detail of what hap of what <laughs> so I can't really go into detail but but yeah it was actually really nice to crochet up <laughs> it was easy to follow it even has this little mass of glasses and the glasses are not perfect so I did use I didn't have because it called for a, a certain thing to get to make those glasses but you can use your thumb to bend them so they're not perfect like but they turned out okay so yeah, I like this little, little tuft of hair. I was like a little hairstylist and like clipping it. Um, but yeah, it was actually turned out really well. Um, like I said, it's not a free pattern, so it's paid for. I bought it off at Etsy. Um, but the pattern was so easy to follow, very precise. Um, since I had to make three sets, so it was just like a bunch of arms and legs everywhere. And I did use, again, I did use Red Heart, Save, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And also I used Loops and Thread Impeccable in chocolate brown and heather i think it's just for his for his gloves so yeah there was a certain technique that you had to use for the for the gloves but it was just too hard for me and I, yeah the gloves are so cute so yeah and it sits really well on a, on a desk i can't show you right now i don't know if you can <laughs> it's really cute <laughs> i have bernie watching over me <laughs> creepy he turned out really cute um, I'm actually really proud of it. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Um, I did, um, it did call for a size E hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. Hi, this is future Whitney. <laughs> but I realized I forgot I had another finished object. Yeah, sorry about the whole different angle and everything. Everything I just, whatever I set up with, I already put away. So, um, and it's, it's going to be a really quick video. So, sorry about the cut. <laughs> in after editing stuff but I did want to talk to you about one more finished object that I did and I completely forgot about it I was going through my pictures and I was like oh yeah I made that <laughs> so someone asked me a friend of a friend of mine asked me if they I, I can make a fruit net for her um but in my head I was like what's a fruit net I never heard of that before <laughs> I don't know I just it, it didn't occur to me what what it was called but I looked it up and I was like oh it's just a net you carry your fruit in duh um but I never used one before. <laughs> um, so maybe I'm just a big dummy. But, <laughs> but I looked it up and said, oh yeah, sure, I can do it. Because I looked up on, I just looked up fruit net, And there was a, just a couple patterns, um, or one pattern I, I was able to find. Um, it was on the Hobby Yarn website. And it looked really easy. I was going through the, um, going through the pattern. It's free. I think you just have to sign up to get the free pattern. So I just signed up. And yeah, it was just called a fruit net. It's large. Um, here's a picture of it. So yeah, photography skills are not that great, <laughs> but but it seemed to pass for my not so great skills. <laughs> but yeah, it's a fruit net by Hobby Yarns. I used a crochet hook, two point five millimeter. I don't remember the um the the hook size, like the letter, but I used that. And for the yarn, I used Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. I think size 10 or something like that. Um, I already had it in my stash, so I didn't have to go out and get it. Um, so it was good. So yeah, my the my friend, my customer, <laughs> um, she ended up really liking it. 
Um, so I'm really happy that she likes the fruit knit. I was able to test out with the apples, <laughs> with my with the apples that I had. So like, okay, this knit is pretty strong. Maybe I'll make one of my own. Um, so maybe that'll be a good project for myself in the future. And she ended up liking it, so I'm really glad. I washed it and dried it really fast. I laid it flat to dry. I think that's what the yarn said to do. Hand washed and put it off to dry. But I think you can put it in the washer. But with, it, with all my hand knits, um, well, my future hand knits, like, like I said, I haven't, or I don't know if I said this before, but with like hand knits, um, you have to make sure to um, see the label, how to wash things. I like to wash things in the in the washer and then lay them out to dry. And But hand washing is always good too, especially if it's like dealing with wool and things. You don't want it to shrink. Back to your scheduled programming. Yeah, that's, that's all. <laughs> that's all for my finished objects. I'm really proud of those objects. I mean, I only have three of them. Um, so not a whole lot, but I do, and I just only have one whip to show you. Like I said, I have a bunch of acquisitions to show you, so hopefully I'll be able to, to go through this really fast. Hopefully I'm not boring you, but just, I just have one whip to show you. I did show my last video that I was doing a, um, two videos ago or three, there was a cow, it was a Lord of the Rings, uh, knit along, which I didn't have time for. I, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have the time to finish it. And I wanted to continue, but then I just fell out of the pattern, fell, fell out of love of the, of the pattern. And then I, I kind of tried the cuff on and it was kind of tight. I usually use 64 stitches, but then it was too tight for me around my, for my foot. So I was like, since I'm not in love with it anymore, I'm just going to frog it. And I'm like, I'm done with it. Um, so, and I was also working on a vanilla sock, but I wanted to use, use that yarn for a future project. So I frogged that one too. But I'm still using the the my favorite vanilla socks by Megan Schmaltz. I think I said her name. Yeah, Schmaltz. She also goes by the unapologetic unapologetic knitter. I did say before that I like um, in a past video that I do like two at a time. It's the best. But after doing it, I feel like I mean it does. Um, like I like the idea of doing two at two socks at, at a time. It means you're not. You don't get the second sock syndrome where you just knit up one sock and then forget about the second one, but but it was kind of hard. It was just it was just very it took, it was very slow for me. I felt like I wasn't progressing as fast as I wanted it to, so I decided just to go down to one needle. But then since I had a nine inch circular in the same size needle that for this pattern, because it's a, it called for a US size two, so that's a two point seventy five millimeter, and I had a magic loop in that size and I also had a needle that size for the nine inch so like oh I I know someone does this uh hand me my knitting the hand me my knitting podcast I forgot her name so I apologize but yeah she's a it's, her podcast is called hand me my knitting um I really like her she's really cool like she does the same thing as I'm doing right now like I'm using two different techniques I think she uses the same like if she's using a magic loop I think it's the magic loop or the nine inch I'm not sure but she uses like two mad two Nine inch circulars are two magic loops. So this is the the Lion Brand yarn, um, Manny Petty. Oh, I think I think it's very col colorful. So here's the sock. I'm using the magic loop method. Here's my little progress keeper. I'll put the info down below of what where I got this on Etsy. I don't remember who um who I got it from. So the podcast I also watch is the Crazy Sock Lady. I think I'm saying her podcast name right. The crazy sock lady and she does this it's actually really um i like this because since i will know when like well, how many stitches i use so that way i can i know what to use for my second sock and because I, I count every 10 stitches so yeah but yeah here's the magic loop method and here's the nine inch method i also use 64 stitches one by one rib and i really like this heel it's the aya partridge heel it's really pretty. I think it's so far like this is my favorite just because it, it looks alone. It's just a very pretty style, and this is a free pattern. So what she does is 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 do like garter stitch on the side. You can tell, and then she's and then like this is from here all the way to the other side is the is the heel, and the eye of partridge. And also just experimenting to see like whether like the difference between like a nine inch and a magic loop if I do them at the same time, then it'll be different. But my gauge is, is okay, I believe. But we'll see. But yeah, this is what I'm doing. That's my whip. So 
I start this and then I do the other one for a couple inches. So I go back and forth so that way. I, I still kind of avoid the second sock syndrome. But since I'm doing, I guess the word is concurrently. Whatever I'm doing at the same time. So it's, it's like, so it's like two at a time on different needles. So I like it doing this way. So I feel like it's faster, especially the nine inch circulars. Cause, cause you're just going around and around in a very, um, small way. So I think it's a little bit faster. Again, it just, it cramps up the hands a little bit if you do it too long, but I like doing it this way. All of this is put into my Clinique makeup bag. <laughs> I have a bunch of these in my closet and I didn't know what to do with them, but I found something for them. My knitting, knitting projects. <laughs> now, I'm gonna show you all my acquisitions, all the yarn that I got and a couple things might be for future projects, future things. So let me show you what I got. I'm just gonna show you the yarn that I got and then I'm gonna talk to you what projects I'm using for them because I have a segment for that. So I've never bought off of Knit Picks before. I mean, I heard a lot of uh, good things about them. So I wanted to give it a try. And so for the month of my birthday, they were... I got an email from Knit Picks because I signed up for their emails a long time ago, but they showed or they emailed saying that we'll give you a free pin if you buy some yarn in the month of February. And I really wanted that pin because <laughs> it's so cute. I'll show you in a minute. So I bought it like maybe like a couple days after my birthday because it was like, yeah, it was on the 28th because like, like I got it in the nick of time because my parents gave me 50 bucks for yarn and they didn't know what to get me <laughs> or they knew what they wanted to get yarn for me. But they didn't know what specific yarn I wanted and they, and they just don't want... They wanted to make sure that I got the yarn that I loved and not the one in there because they're, they don't, they don't know. They, they know I'm a knitter and crochet and a crocheter. So they just want to make sure I get the right one and they didn't want to mess it up. So they gave me 50 bucks. Woohoo. <laughs> so of course I went on knit picks cause I wanted to try, try it and get a pin. So I did get a free gift. I did get that pin. This is their little unicorn, isn't it so cute? I'll get it out first, I'll get it out first. See, it's a little unicorn with a little birthday hat and it's knitting you up a little rainbow. <laughs> it's so cute. I wanna use it for, I use it on my, on like a future project bag or something. So, there's a project I wanna make. Like I said, it's gonna be a future segment, in a later segment in a few minutes. But, these are the colors that I got. And again, I, since I have never been shopping, I never shopped at Nitpicks before, I wanted to try this yarn. And it's really, really squishy. I love it. And I never used DK weight before. I use a lot of medium weight yarn for like projects, little dolls and stuff. But for myself, I use fingering for like a shawl at times, but I'm still trying to branch out and get more yarn that's DK weight or fingering weight. But yeah, here's the Nitpicks Swish in DK weight. It is 100% fine superwash merino wool. It does say I can machine wash cold and tumble dry low. It's in the colorway Honey. But yeah, it's really pretty. I do like this color. I feel like I um, I did buy yarn that's this color, but for a different project. And I'll probably show that in a different later segment. But this is so pretty. And also, same swish in white. Yeah, white. I don't know if it's called frost or something. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta make sure. And then in black. With these colors, what do you think I'm making? Can you guess? You'll see you later. <laughs> so there's that, I bought that one. Cause I still have some extra leftover. I think I only had like 15 bucks that went over, I believe, I'm not sure, but I love yarn. So I was like, I'll get more yarn. Cause I'm looking, I have another project in mind for this too. Um, for this, this is a, the Hawthorne Figuring Weight Conifer Kettle Dye. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> it actually kind of matches with this, no? I don't know. It's a, uh, that's a different project, <laughs> but but yeah, this is, I love the color of this. It's conifer. It's a 80% super, 80% super wash fine highland wool and 20% polyamide, polyamide, size one weight. But yeah, so I have a, a project in mind. Sometimes when I buy yarn, I just buy it and don't have a project in mind, but this one for sure. And I'll show you that in a later segment. But yeah, there's that one. So that's all the yarn I bought like for my birthday. This is just like, I bought yarn later on because I just wanted, 
I have a project. <laughs> I have a project in mind. But this um, these I do want to make socks, and I really like this yarn. It's the Stroll yarn, fingering weight called Hollyberry. Um, it's seventy five percent fine superwash merino wool and twenty five percent nylon. So yeah, so pretty. And then I have this one called Palette. It picks Palette and fingering weight. It's called the Puma Heather. And this is the same thing, but in Semolina. It is so soft. It is 100% Peruvian Highland wool, size one. This is definitely a hand wash dry flat. That's what it says in the, in the instructions. So yeah, I don't want this to shrink or anything. This is actually really pretty. And I, get, and I do have a project for this in mind, but I can't say it right now because I don't know if this person watches my YouTube video. So I can't say anything, but here are the colors that I got. So yeah, because there's something I have in mind and I'm really excited for it and I can't wait to start it. So yeah, but it's really, really soft. I, wanted, I, I might buy a pair for myself. Well, this the designer has, a, is, has plenty of, I don't want to give it away because there's, yeah, I don't want to give it away, but but I do want to buy more of this for a different project of that design. So for that designer, but yeah, for a future video, <laughs> please watch <laughs> and please subscribe so you know, and the bell so you know that when I have my next video up, it shows that I have a new video. <laughs> so anyways, lots more of yarn. <laughs> I don't think I've showed you this yarn, but my husband for Valentine's Day, I think, yeah, for Valentine's Day, he bought a gift for me and he knows that I like yarn and he has paid attention to what um, what, what my fit favorite uh, yarn store is. There's a uh, there's a yarn store in Laverne. It used to be called uh, Make One Yarn Company, but now they changed owners and now it's called Buku Yarns. So, um, but so he looked it up, he did some investigating and they did have an Etsy page. I'll put the link on, down on the bottom so you can check it out. But, um, or in Claremont. Oh, hand dyed in Claremont, but I think the place is in Laverne. I'll look that up again. <laughs> but this is by Buku Yarns in the colorway Rapture. I love purples. Purple, purple is my favorite color. I do color, kind of color coordinate my uh, my yarn stash, but my <laughs> my shelf that I have all the that's blues and purples is just overstuffed. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I need to slow down on the purples and and <laughs> and go over to like different colors because I have a lot of purples but this is really pretty this is a 75% super wash merino 25% nylon it's 463 yards um, it's in the under the supernova sock so this is a hand wash or machine wash delicate so purple yarn that my husband he's so thoughtful he knows I love yarn too much yarn because I bought too much yarn lately <laughs> which I'm slowing down. For this yarn, I bought this from a, uh, I'm sure all of you know, her name is Megan. Um, Megan from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. And she had a colorway in February, like a, um, a pre-order for a mystery yarn. And and I think she gave a clue on her Instagram. It was a Princess and the Frog theme colorway. And I was like, oh, I love Princess and the Frog. It's, it's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you have Disney Plus, it's there. Um, but I love Princess and the Frog and so I had to have it <laughs> so I got it and it came in a couple weeks ago and look at how pretty it's really bright I mean I love bright colors and this is bright but look how pretty it is see the pinks and the greens and the blues oh, it's really really pretty here's a close-up so yeah this is Bad Wolf Girl Studios it is 75% superwash merino wool 25% nylon for 162 yards so I bought he had like an option between matte and uh Selena I think I just discovered that so that's the glittery yarn I believe right <laughs> but um I also got that but I also came either can get the scheme or or you can get a, a mini together so I, I got the option for a mini as well so here's this little uh, mini it's so cute so mini <laughs> but you look at the colors are so pretty so I love this colorway. Like, I don't know what to make with it. I think, well, obviously socks. These are gonna be my socks because it's specialty. But yeah, I can tell that it's Princess and the Frog colors. There's the green. Um, it, it's just it's just so beautiful. So thank you so much, Megan. 
um, I'll make sure I post it on Instagram. It's uh, so, it, it, it came out so well. I love it. You can see, I love bright. Maybe I can save it for a shawl. I don't know. I think that hurt. I don't know. What? Tell me in the comments what you think I should make with this. Because it's really, it's really neat. Like I said before, I did have, I did celebrate my birthday at the end of February. And we decided uh, to take a drive out to Long Beach because I love the beach. We had dinner out there safely, of course. I just, I wanted to look up a, because the place where we were at was really good. Um, and the, and since we were out there, I was like, I'm just going to look up a, a yarn store and to see if there's one nearby. Well, there was one nearby. It was in walking distance, like 30 seconds next to the restaurant. I was like, oh my gosh, it was so, <laughs> it was fate. <laughs> so I'm like, there's a yarn store, literally a walking distance next to the restaurant we were at. Forgot what the yarn store was called, Alamitos Bay Company. But yeah, it was fate. And so I looked around, it was, there was a bunch of yarn, bunch of colors, but there was one that was like right near the entrance that really caught my eye. Um, I looked everywhere just to, just to see what other yarns they have, but I kept on, so I kept on looking at that direction. I'm like, okay, I think I found the yarn I want. So this is a, it's called Stitch Together, um, hand dyed somewhere in Iowa, rad yarn for rebels. So I'll put the link down for their, for their yarn so you can check it out, but it's called Stitch Together and the colorway a silly love song for February 2021. It's a stitch smooth sock. 75% merino, 25% nylon. And look how pretty it is. Look at that. Silly love song. So yeah, this is definitely a sock yarn. And I also bought a mini. This is by Ba Yarn. And look at that color. I love this color too. It's so beautiful. Um, this is the info. 100% superwash merino. I think it's actually, I think if this is a good combo. This is for like maybe like the heel, the cuff, toe and heel color. This is for the body of the sock. We'll see. And also with, I want to know what you do with minis. Like you can do like, obviously you can do the cuff, toes and heels. And I also heard about the cozy, um, the cozy memory blanket. And I really want to make that actually. I've seen a lot of podcasters make that. And um, I think this, um, I don't know if it, do you, if you use socks with it or use this for socks, do you have stuff left over for a cozy memory blanket? I'm not sure, but maybe I should just like gather up a lot of minis to make one. But I really want to make a blanket like that. So what do you do with your minis? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but someday I do want to accumulate a lot of like fingering weight yarn so that way I can make a blanket because that seems like a cool, cool idea. All the yarn that you used before and put it in a blanket. That's all the yarn I have. See, I have a bunch of, I, have, I had a bunch of yarn. That's why I need to slow down on my yarn purchases. But yeah, I love that yarn. It was, it was just so like weird how it was just like right next door to where I was at and I didn't even know about it until after. Oh my goodness, it was just, that day was was the best day for my birthday. It was like nice weather, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. It was, it was my kind of day and I wasn't near the beach. It was awesome. Like I said before, there was a couple things I wanna try. So I bought this off at of Etsy. I'll put her information down below. I don't remember right now, but, but I do wanna try to spin. It's a drop spindle and it's really nice. It's really slick, really nice smooth wood. I'm getting to spin, so it's going to probably look all crappy once I start spinning, but I'm only learning this means I have to learn somewhere somehow. So I'm excited. It also came with, um, um, this, look at this, ah! look at all the colors. It's so pretty. Yeah, it comes with it. I want to Mess it up already. I think this is the starter, the, what's it called? The, it comes with something, it, the starter thread or something. Let me know what this called. I watched a couple spinning videos already. I know you wrap it somehow and do like that so that way it can catch the yarn. <laughs> gotcha. And I already broke it. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, it comes with like a one ounce merino fiber. So it'll be good to, to practice with it. I mean, maybe I should just start collecting so when I get better, I'll get, I'll just have things in stock. The person that I follow, I just subscribed to her, but her, um, her YouTube name is Jillian Eve, I believe. I'll put her name right here. But she has a bunch of YouTube, a lot of spinning videos 
all the things I really um, urge you to check it out if you're into spinning at all she teaches you really she teaches you all the specifics on different like I know there's a Turkish spindle she has a spinning wheel uh, I think uh, I watched one video where she refurbishes a spinning wheel that she inherited from someone like a neighbor or something like that but I urge you to check it out um, I learned a lot from I'm learning a lot from her I check only check out a few but once I get started on spinning I'm definitely gonna go to her for for YouTube help <laughs> tutorials for her spinning so yeah I urge you to check it out um, and then so yeah I'm starting to spin I never thought that I would want to spin um, I know myself I know what I like to do and what I don't want to do. I know, obviously, I knit and crochet, blah, 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 but I heard about spinning, but I thought, oh, that's a, it's fine. But once I start started seeing YouTube videos and all the podcasters who spin, I was like, I think I'll give it a try. It seems cool to do. And then with that, I also got, cause a lot of people use a nitty, a nitty naughty. I didn't know what that was until later. But yeah, this is a, um, I got this off at of Etsy. I'll put down, I'll put the person who made this down below. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, she made this out of the, her 3D machine. That's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I asked, it, it comes in two colors, either this color or like a, a teal, like a turquoise color. I, I, since, like I said, my favorite color is purple. So here's a purple one. So yeah, here's a nitty naughty. So I can wrap up my, my yarn after. So the person I bought this from also, she gave me a, a cute thank you note. Um, I didn't bring it in with me, but she was very sweet in the note. And said, thank you for your purchase. And she also gave me in the envelope a little um, WPI, like wraps per inch tool. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It has like a little sheep on it too. And then I was, I wanted one of these too. And this is actually pretty um, 3D made, 3D machine made, I guess, how you, whatever, how you say it. <laughs> but look, it's so cute. So it's really sweet of her to have a little gift. Yeah. So check that out if you're interested in spinning. I send down the links below. I never thought I would want this. I have a. I know my grandma has sewed before, but I never thought I would actually sew. Um, <clears throat> like I said before, I didn't think I would spin, but I got the spinning bug and I want to. And I know myself. I know that I do not want to color or um, dye yarn. Um, Kudos to the people who actually color yarn, dye yarn, because um, a lot of you do a lot of amazing colors, obs, <laughs> but but I don't think that's for me. It seems a lot of work, so yeah, I don't think that's coming. Maybe later, right now, it's just not feasible for me since I have two little ones. It's just not. It's, gonna, it's not. It doesn't. It's not gonna work out. <laughs> and I don't right now. I don't. I know myself, and I'm not gonna be interested in coloring. I'm saying coloring, dyeing yarn. But maybe in the way future. But I don't even know if I have time for this. But I did buy a sewing machine. I wanted to show you physically, but it's too big. It's <laughs> heavy. It was a gift from my husband. He did buy this for my birthday. He bought it. The, he, I got this like in the beginning of February. So, so this was an early birthday present for me. It's in the box. I haven't opened it up yet. I haven't. I have so many projects and commissions to do that I haven't had any. Um, that I haven't had time to do any of my personal stuff. But once I, everything calms down, and I, I really want to try sewing, and maybe in the future there will be sewing uh, knitting projects, knitting bags, <laughs> I just say, to do. Yeah, I'm really excited. I never thought I would be one to use a sewing machine. Mainly, it's mainly out of fear because it scares me. <laughs> but but no, I'm actually um, really, really excited. I mean, I... I mean, I never sewed before, so you're probably asking you're asking me, like, why are you buying a sewing machine if you don't even know if you like it or not? But, I don't know, it just like watching videos, it just seems so um, cool. I, I really, I really want to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for it. I know as a beginner, I'm probably going to mess up, and that's a given, I know. But I, just so excited! <laughs> any sewers out there, any people who does um, knitting bags, Please let me know if there's any um, YouTuber out there that can teach any tutorials out there that you know of that you like and send them my way because I would love to learn all the techniques out there. I love to learn just get all the information out there and just learn how to sew. Who's your favorite person to go to? Just let me know in the comments. So I'm just doing all my research. I've been doing my research before I even got my sewing machine. I don't know if I want to do clothes. Um, 
maybe i could probably do dresses for my little ones but yeah subscribe to my channel to go along the journey with me my my sewing journey um because i do want i feel like i i know there's a lot of people who who dye yarn and they sell them and they do project bags and they sell them but i want to do something for you guys as well i mean they they i i, I mean i'm not speaking for them i don't know them personally but i'm the i'm pretty sure they if they are doing this for you are, are making these bags they're doing it for for you for the knitting community and, and um all, all of us knitters need our knitting bags so i just want to do this for the knitting community as well put my name out there as well it just it just seems like a fun thing to do but obviously and it's going to be year, in years in the future when i probably be selling anyways i'm just starting off small at the moment so i'm just looking forward to it i, I just can't wait for this journey it takes me especially starting this podcast i just um it's just, it's, I'm just barely starting and then I'm just interested to see how in 10 years from now, if anything's going to change, <laughs> if there's going to be more than, if there's going to be a hundred people, I'll be, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm hopefully I'll reach up to a hundred people. Um, someone out there must like my videos, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just like so excited for doing this. So yeah, just, uh, please stay tuned for future projects. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. But subscribe definitely just so you know what I'm up to, what projects I'm going to be making in the future, so you can keep up to date. Because um, I'm so excited and I'm making project bags. And hopefully they're good enough for, <laughs> for everyone if they like it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a big project for me. That's I'm just so excited. But yeah. And then that's it all for acquisitions. <laughs> that's a lot of yarn that I bought, but I can't wait to do some projects with it. But yeah, and this is a segment called, I'm still kind of come up with a title for this, but the segment is called A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. <laughs> no, is that dumb? <laughs> but a dream is a wish my heart makes. I mean, I have a dream about certain yarns that I want to make into a project. So my dream for this, so squishy. The pattern is called Mount Pleasant. It seems like a, like an easy pattern to follow. It looks like a really simple shirt. I never made a shirt before. And so this will be my first time making uh, like a top for myself. And it looks really simple. I mean, it's just like like sleeve, but it has like a cute design on the bottom. It's by Megan Nodecker of the Pippin Pin podcast. I don't know if you watch it. I really recommend going to, to watch um, Pippin Pin. Um, but yeah, I love all her designs. I wanna... Um, uh, make some more of her patterns, but yeah, so I picked for that shirt pop it up again. Um, I did I want to do this color I Wanted to do that color as well, but I was like I still already have like uh, like the uh, for a different uh, Project of mine. I have a I already have like that type of color So like I like think this color look good as well and for that shirt But yeah, so my dream is to make the Mount Pleasant top and hopefully I'll make it it's a dream of mine <laughs> and giving you hints throughout my podcast with my mug I'm I want to make the Hufflepuff sweater by um, Megan by from the bad wolf sits and knits podcast um, I want to make her Hufflepuff sweater with these colors ah, I'm so excited about like four or five of the blacks because um because all of it's gonna be black and this is for and also the and the whites for the badger face and then the and then this color the honey for the accents that are on top of the of the sweater I'll show you a picture here so you can see it but as I said I'm a Harry Potter fan and I really want to do that sweater and I love all her designs as well so I want to do more of her patterns uh, I did buy the package I, did, I do have the Gryffindor Ravenclaw and the Slytherin and the Hufflepuff sweater package. So maybe if there's future anyone who has who's a Slytherin or Ravenclaw, I can make a sweater for them. Because um, it seems like an easy pattern to follow. I already bought the pattern, so that's my dream of making. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm exhausted already. <laughs> I talked a lot. My throat is already my throat is already my throat is already getting groggy already and getting <clears throat> hard for me to talk now. Yeah, those are my wishes those are my dreams i want to make them into reality those are my projects my future projects and i do have a couple and i also have projects for a yarn that i'm thinking but i'll save that for another day Whew, that was a lot i already have like over an hour <laughs> hopefully i can cut it down this has nothing to do with knitting but 
Look what I have. This is what my brother-in-law gave me for my birthday. I'm thinking, well, he gave it to a week, a week before my birthday, but I'm thinking it's my birthday. I'm not sure. Any of you who are fans of The Office might be, have a big kick out of this. Look at it. It's so cool. Michael Scott, Jill, Jill, <laughs> Jim Helper, Pam Beasley, and Dwight Schrute. I love it. And you see Dwight with his little, the stapler with the, inside the jello. Uh, these are cool. These are fun. He knows I'm a fan of The Office. Ah! Okay, my favorite quote, I love Michael Scott. It was sad when he left the show. I mean, I only saw the show for the first time last year. Don't hate me, but at least I watched it all, okay? <laughs> Before it was kicked off of Netflix, but I love The Office. My favorite quote is from Michael Scott. Would I rather be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to fear how much they love me. <laughs> I think that's the quote. If I get it wrong, I'll put the quote up here. But I think he's just so funny. I, I love him. <laughs> he's bonkers, but he's, he's cool. I like Steve Carell. Well, that's it for today. I mean, there's nothing else to say. I mean, the, the, it's already a long video as it is. Hopefully I can edit it down to a shorter video. Um, nothing to report in my life right now. I mean, just been busy with the kids, but we're doing okay. My family's doing okay. So, so far I have my knitting. I have my friends. Um, and I hope you all are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling safe. Um, so far, none of my family members have gotten sick. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, but I wish you all well. Um, I hope you like this podcast. I hope you like this video. Thank you for sticking around with me. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, please follow me again at Light Dove Knits and please subscribe and like this video. And I, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section, email me or what have you. Yeah, just let me know that you're out there. <laughs> Please subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm just, I just want to know people. I just want to wish. I just want to meet new people. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy knitting. So I want to talk to you about my knits from the past. But <laughs> I want to talk to you. Hot mess.